with nearly a dozen different food options this weekend at the Royal Oak Rib Fest. We didn't want to show you just one of them. So this morning, Chef Anthony Jackson from Jackson's Five Star Catering Company is here to uh, let us know what he'll be serving up at the event this weekend and to talk about some of the other event details for Rib Fest and what they have to offer is John the Dan Jack from uh, Metro Times. So thank you so much for being thank here. You. We appreciate it. We appreciate you cooking up all of this delicious food. And uh, tell us what you'll have available at the Rib Fest this weekend. Uh, this weekend we have our St. Louis ribs. We got um, Jackson's Five Star Macaroni and Cheese. We have our pulled pork with coleslaw and baked beans. Okay. What would you say is the the specialty? The specialty that you cook up. Uh, what does everybody love? <laughs> they love the ribs and the macaroni and cheese. Pulled pork is a good. What, is there yeah. any special ingredients in the mac and cheese that we should know about? Yeah, it's a family secret. Family, family secret, secret, so you can't macaroni. tell us. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> tell us a little bit about uh, Jackson's Five Star Catering. Well, How long have you been around? Jackson's Five Star Catering has been around since 1995. Um, okay. Yes, and we located in Ferndale. Wonderful, and you'll yes. be there all weekend long at the Rib Fest? Yes. Yep, we, we decided to be at the Rib Fest in Royal Oak. Very cool. Well, tell us more about the Rib Fest and what it has to offer. It's uh, Friday through Sunday, and I understand that it's a free event. It is It is a free event. We're really excited to offer Metro Detroiters an entertainment option this weekend for free. Um, it's just exciting for us to be able to do so. Absolutely. Well, with it being a holiday weekend, I think, you know, so many people will be wanting to get out and spend time with the family. Is this a family event, though, or is it, I see that there's yes. alcohol involved. It's not adults it's, only? No, it's family friendly. We have bounce houses for the kids. We have monster truck rides, face painting, and some other activities for the children and Very for cool. the adults. Um, lots of great food in a fun and festive atmosphere with live entertainment on a daily basis. Okay, so what are the hours? It it's, kicks off on Friday? Friday at 3 o'clock. We'll go 3 to midnight, Saturday 12 to 12, okay. and then Sunday 12 to 10. So all day long. That's great. Absolutely. And free, like I said, free admission and free parking. Indeed, all weekend long in downtown Royal Oak, uh, parking is free. So we encourage everyone to uh, come out and enjoy a new uh, fourth of July tradition. And this is the first year. It is. So the first year, hopefully uh, first of many. This is a wonderful event. What a great opportunity to get people out and enjoy the holiday weekend. And uh, like we said, there'll be a dozen different restaurants that will have food there. So what are some of the other ones? Some of the other restaurants uh, this year would be Smoke Ring Barbecue, um, Old Carolina Barbecue, we've got Detroit Barbecue. So the emphasis is definitely on ribs, but there right. will be other options. Uh, if uh, you you absolutely don't like ribs, <laughs> so. what about what about dessert? There are some dessert options as well. I know Jackson's uh, has a, a dessert trailer. Yes, we had a uh, funnel cake elephant ear trailer with uh, rare velvet funnel cakes. Ooh, yes. all that sounds delicious. You're getting me right hungry. Right. Yes. And um, you said live entertainment. So what yes. kind of musical entertainment can we um, look forward to? Friday night, uh, we've got the Howling Diablos and the Infatuations headlining. On Saturday, we've got uh, Goober and the Peas and the Mugs and the Beggars. Okay. And then Sunday, we have Thornetta Davis. Uh, Pato, which is one of my favorite new bands, yeah. and Tasha Owens. So wonderful, wonderful. Well, Pato is the one who is actually going to be performing yes. right now for us live at the Cube. After the break, uh, you'll get a little taste of his musical talents at our summer concert at the Cube. We'll be